Unless you're talking to her. <laughs> I mean, you can look at me and talk. No, I don't want gotta, the job to look at You got to make contact, though. <laughs> Who got to make contact? I'm saying uh, with the camera. Okay, y'all. I'm ready. Stop being like that, man. I told you, you ready? <laughs> are you ready? Mm-hmm. You are? Yo, how you doing, man? This is the very first episode of the Wild Out Podcast. I'm your humble and gracious and blessed and highly favorite host, Rico Pickett, a.k.a. Mook, a.k.a. The Goat. You'll Mm -hmm. find out why in time. But today, man, first of all, I want to shout out the whole Solid Foundation family, the whole gang, man. Shout out to Cam, shout out to JJ, shout out to Cook. Uh, Mallory, everybody, man. Shout out to the whole team. Um, but today, for the very first podcast of mine, episode one, I just I just want to say that I'm thankful for being here and it's finally happening. And I'm glad and I'm super excited that it's happening. But I got a special guest today. Um, I'm going to let her introduce herself. <laughs> I am, because I know this is what she needs to do, right? But I just want to say I appreciate you. Thank you. And um, I think you're talented. I think you're uh, gorgeous, obviously. Oh, don't you know, up. Don't yeah, up. obviously. I think you're a great mother. I think you're a great person. You always a joy to be around. Uh, I'm gonna let you do the rest as far as introing yourself. Like y'all know what the fuck going on. I'm just playing. I'm just <laughs> 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 well, um, so I'm Megan. They call me Big Meg. Mm-hmm. Um, what am I talking about? So. Graduated from Austin, class of 2008. I am a group leader at Mazda Toyota, um, team one. Um, in school right now for information technology and cybersecurity. Graduate May 10th. Um, okay, yeah. congratulations on that. Yeah, yeah. I like that. Mommy, mommy, all that, you know. Right, I like that. Oh, wait. Right. <laughs> oh, wait. Oh, wait, you know. That's all right. BBN. <laughs> all right, here we go with this. Here we go with this. You already know. Well, no, nah, I'm Team Austin right now. Anyway, so um, starting it off, Meg, just tell, just like, start to tell us like a little bit like your, your humble beginnings. Like, I'm going to say this first. When I first, when we first met, I remember days, um, shout out to Pastor Willingham, Regina, Tawana, Monty. The whole crew, you know. Yes, yes. Shout out to Dylan. Congratulations to you too, bro. Love Congratulations you, on it. Love you, kid. So the first time us meeting was I remember Sundays, uh, me and my pops randomly going to Pastor Willingham house and you being over there with that being your sister, you know, your people for Sunday dinners before church and all of this. So that's where me and you, you know what I'm saying, first met each other. But I want you to go back and tell us like how was your upbringing? from like as far as like you can remember like five or six or like elementary type is really basically what I'm asking. Ooh, let's see. Um so everything went always sweet. So my right. biological dad it was real rough. Um mm-hmm. so I ended up living with my what I call Daddy Carl and my mm-hmm. mama Regina. Um they're pastors. So I think y'all give PKs Put y'all put us on a pedestal like we don't have a normal life like y'all do. PK, and preacher kid. Preacher kid, yes. Gotcha. And we, we do the same stuff y'all do. Um, Grew up going to different schools. I went to West Decatur. Mm, shout out to West Decatur. Ed White, Monrovia, mm. Sparkman. Um, ooh, so many. Cedar Ridge, Austin, Brookhaven. <laughs> I ain't know you went to all these schools. Man, you you sound like I was a, bouncing around until Army I actually right got stable, and that was with my daddy Carl and Margin. They took me in, mm-hmm. and that's where that's where it started. That's where it started. It started from there. That's when I got stable. That's when you got stable. Yes. Yeah, hey, shout out to them. The Willingham family definitely took me in. Them, them, my folks. Those are my folks. Got you. So how's how's the relationship uh, even from the beginning with with your mom? Like how how was that? My real mom? Yeah. Um if it's okay for us to talk about it. Okay, so we're gonna be honest. Yeah. Um, my real mom, if y'all know the situation, she was incarcerated until I was eighteen. 
I remember um, having to go to the prison. I remember having, they searched us. We couldn't even take candy in there. Couldn't right. have gum in there. Right. So strict, yes. Um, and I was young. So when my mama left, when my mama got sent away, I was only five months. Tawana was five years old. So mm. she kind of remembers everything I don't remember. I remember probably around six, around that time when I'm actually visiting her and everything. Didn't understand at the time, Tawana used to cry. Every time we left, she would cry. Mm -hmm. Me, I didn't. I didn't have no emotions back then. Cause Cause I didn't. Used to I really didn't. Yeah, around. I was used to bouncing around. I really didn't know her at that time. I can relate. So, I don't know. It was hard. It was hard. Um, she got out when I think I was in eleventh grade, twelfth grade. So how did that affect you though? What, what you, you know, what I'm saying with that disconnect for so long. Uh, like, it how really did didn't it... affect me because I had. My mama Regina, she right. stepped in, so I didn't. I had a mother figure, right. and of course my aunties also. So I had a mother figure, so it really didn't affect me at all mm -hmm. until I think she got out, and we're trying to build that relationship. Right, because I'm out. I'm thinking, okay, I'm grown now. We didn't miss my childhood, yeah, but I still had to realize like what she went through mentally. So. I'm giving her that that time. Especially with you being a mom now too, though. I'm pretty sure that changes a lot. It did, and I um, she really still ain't told me exactly what happened, which I've heard stuff, of course. And I have to realize that she has to tell me on her time. Right. So I can only imagine leaving my kids. Mm -hmm. So her leaving me and my sister, she said that was the hardest thing she had to do. Like I believe, hard, it. and I believe it because I can't even imagine when I get locked up. For the one, <laughs> for the one little hour I'm in there, right, I be right. sick thinking about my kids the whole time. So yeah. I can only imagine you missed birthdays. You missed 18 of my birthdays. Mm -hmm. um, what, 15 of Tawana's birthdays? Like right. Christmases. You missed, you missed everything. You missed it all. But now we are in a good space. Mm -hmm. um, we still learning from each other, still growing from each other. And I'm still having to remind myself, like, when she be in her moods, like... She was locked up mentally. Right, right. So now she's so neat. If y'all know my mama, she mean. Go to her house, it's still clean. I feel like she's still on that prison time. Time. Yeah. Institutionalized. But in the sense. She's straight. But, but when I say she's doing her thing, my mama got her own house, own car. Mm. She doing she doing good for herself. And I'm so proud of her. So proud of her. That's what's up, man. I just wanted to know because a lot of people don't know that about you. Yeah. Or y'all family. And that's what's up. Shout out to Mark Dukes too. For jumping back out here, you know what I'm saying, she doing the thing and being a grandmother too, because yeah. I see plant manager at Wayne Farms. Like she ain't playing. Hey man, she, she came out here and she got she she did it. She did it. She fine too, man. Can't you tell? She fine. Thank you. Damn, she fine. <laughs> hey, but listen though, <laughs> but listen. So, so yeah. So so moving on. Let's talk about the boys and girls club days. Can you give me? Can you give me like a story or two? Cause I, I'm I'm Ooh, talking about that? like like I said, people be getting mad at me for going back in time and all that. But it's like that's what know, made us though. That's what real. made you. So I'm talking um, water gun fights. Man, so if y'all don't know, my dad, Alan Ross, Mr. Ross, like right. he he was he taught at the Boys and Girls Club. Y'all was so bad. Y'all was so bad. <laughs> I used to look at y'all like mm mm. Y'all was bad. Yeah. But the Boys and Girls Club, Third Street, I remember walking from West Decatur at the end of, end of school, walking down the street to Third Street. That's a fact. Lit. Lit. That's a Basketball, fact. Basketball, the gym. Lit. Dodgeball. Like, man, I don't know. Them was the days. They didn't yeah. bring that day. They Going to the Aquadome, skating man, ring. Them trips, the um, field trips in the Camp summertime. Hope. Going to Point Mallet, like going to Point Mallet, yeah. We had all, if y'all didn't experience that, that was a time right there. That's that a fact. Was a time. That's a fact. That's where you met your your first crush. Yes or no? Yes. So who was my first crush? I don't know. You tell us. I hope you ain't talking about you. Nah, I came around. Hold on, who was my first crush? I came crush? along later. Hold on. <laughs> Here we go. Anyway, can you give me? Hey, I don't know. I'm just asking. I'm just asking. I got two questions. I got a two part question. Moving on from that, we ain't talking about that, okay? We not talking about that. All right. I got a two part question. Right. First, give me um a high moment because I'm gonna ask you this later on in the part too. Give me a high moment at the Boys and Girls Club for you, and give me a low moment. And even if it make you feel comfortable, I'll give you one of mine too. Yeah, give yours first. 
a uh, high moment was um, meeting you. Nah, I'm playing. A high moment was um, uh, winning the basketball championship my first in at the Boys and Girls Club. I give you that. Yeah, you I mean, that was kind of a given. That was a given. That was a given. Uh, low, getting dumped in front of everybody in the gym by Patrice Matthews. You shout out to. Shout That's out when to your you. your dad was your coach. Shut up, man. <laughs> Chill out. So you said we cheated. Don't do that. So I gave you two of mine. So mm-hmm. now you, you give me. Let me think. A high moment would be. Um, yeah. I don't know. I used to get bullied. It was the cater, y'all. I used to get bullied. I remember not even. I used to fake sick. So, you Every, to go to school. so I wouldn't have to go to school. And my sister was like, something going on. My parents was like, something going on because right. you just ain't sick. This so I ended up talking to my teacher and they told you know my parents that I was getting bullied. Mm-hmm. But I think I got my confidence at the Boys and Girls Club. That was a high. Because mm-hmm. going in there, you had to crack. Yeah, you, you had, had to. You had to know how to crack. Yeah, you had to. You had to. Definitely and how my, they gave me my too. tough skin. That's what I'm saying. Definitely yeah. gave me my tough I ain't start fighting till like <laughs> till I graduated. <laughs> Don't High say school. fighting, yeah. Start fighting oh, my bad. Start the grab. Start Some of us start later. Yeah. I do. My bad. But that's cool. That's that's good though. Yeah. Mm, that's good I though. So is. so yeah, what would be a low? I mean, no, that would. Mm. I mean, you said how you got your confidence. Yeah. So yeah. it's kind of the yeah. same in, in it's the same. Yeah. Into a one. Okay, that's cool. So I mean, moving on, because I like that answer. At least you've been honest. You've been honest the whole time. This is the Wild Out Podcast. Like, subscribe. Comment even if it's bad, good or bad comments. Comment it's all motion. It's all follow me on Snap at Snap Submit. <laughs> yeah, put all your social media on. We're gonna have it at the bottom right here so everybody can see it. Yeah, follow me on Snap Submit too. Yeah. I can't add nobody else. I'm at least supposed to add y'all. See what I'm saying? Facebook, Megan Chantel. Instagram, Adore Meg. Yeah, there we go. If y'all need a job, I send y'all the link to my also too because we are hiring. That's what's up, boss lady. I, I hear you. I hear you. So listen, moving on, going to the next. What about high school? Tell me about your high school days. I want to know the real about your high school days. So if you graduated in 08, that means you got there in 04. 04. Right? Yeah. Shout out to the 08, 08 class again. Okay. Uh, y'all was lit. What was Shout out Cam. Cam. What we was lit? Shout out boss man Cam. Yeah, that's the best. Y'all was lit. The best class that came through there. You think so? No, so. Top to bottom? Here you go. So, how was your high school uh, experience from the beginning, ninth grade to? I ain't saying tell mm. me year by year. I'm just telling me. Just tell us a little bit about from ninth to finish. Let's see, ninth grade. Uh, I ain't gonna say I was popular, but I was well like. But of course, I had some females, you know, that we had issues with mm-hmm. or whatever. Um, ninth grade. Let's see. I was good. I was straight in ninth grade. I played basketball my ninth grade. Did you? Year. I did. I play basketball my night. Don't do that because they're huh. not bald. But hold up. I need to, I need to know this. <laughs> what number was you? I, I need know. to see if it was remember. nasty or not. I don't remember what number I was. You don't remember? I don't remember. What influenced you to do? I was number three. But you know, my daddy, like, we so grew up. Number. Um, number. We grew up. No, I was like a, the shooting guard. What's your pop suit, though? But that's what I'm saying. So growing up, we had to play something. My parents did not play. Right. We had to play something. But right. once he paid that money, oh, you on that team. To the end of the season, yeah, so we we was very athletic. We all played sports. Right. Um, so I played basketball, ninth grade. Mm-hmm. I think I played half of tenth grade too. But my grades dropped, and my daddy met me at the bus. <laughs> One of the home away games. And is it Austin? Austin. Right. So embarrassing. Took me off the team because my grades had dropped. So then I started track. Uh, ran track mm-hmm. 10th, 11th, and 12th. Ended up getting a track scholarship to Wallace State. Y'all, join the track team. That's when I say them too, track team. Who though? I ain't know you had to Wallace State on my back. Long legs. I ain't know. I didn't know. I didn't know. What you ran the track? What was your um, event? Four by one, four by eight, the 100, the 200, the 400, 300 hurdles. Oh, you we went to athletic state. Athletic. Went to state. Um, yeah, and then it, I looked up because I signed at Wallace. So when I went to Wallace, mm-hmm. they ended up canceling the track team, but they kept me my scholarship. They let me keep my full ride. So you still going to school for free? Let me tell you, I went to school, y'all, and dropped out. <laughs> wow. Chasing a nigga. Uh, dropped out, tell y'all. Tell me. 
I dropped I'm missing out. your pass, no, but for real. Yeah. I dropped out, and I think that was the worst mistake. But I'm back at Wallace, and I graduated in May. So. And what you say you you taking up now? IT and cybersecurity. I never would have guessed it. I'm like a computer it. nerd. I love computers. I never would have guessed it. Too bad. Dang, Dang, my bad. No disrespect. Dang, dang, dang. No disrespect. I didn't know. So tell me, okay, so um, leaving high school, not even before you left, you were single when you was in high school? No. I mean, you got to name no names Ooh. or nothing like that. Um, you got to do all of it. Got in trouble because mm-hmm. I was dating an older guy from Cortland. <laughs> <laughs> Child got in them. trouble. They, they got <laughs> them in the town creek. You from Portland? Lee? You from Portland? Mm-hmm. Oh, I was going to say, you over there yeah. clapping off in the cell? No. Who from Portland? Oh, 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 there you go there. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. No. No. No, they snipers, though. Yeah, I, they snipers. Yeah, I uh, got in trouble. They the older guy. got in trouble for him. Mm-hmm. Then I think. Another dude, I ain't gonna say his name because I made him look good. That motherfucker was ugly. See, we ain't doing that. We ain't doing that. So, we ain't doing that. Because you was with him. So I we was, can't do I that. I was. But I think when I graduated, was I with somebody? No. Okay, so where, this is what I want to ask you. Yes, I was because I quit school for him. I quit college for him. You went to Wallace? Yep. Right. And you used to Wallace State hands for, right? Mm hmm. Okay, bit. So where did the uh, services come in? Um, so. That's what I, I want to know. Quit school. Mm-hmm. And I'll be real with y'all. I wasn't doing shit. I quit school. Partying. Not taking care of business. I'm Went, 19. Going to jail. Yeah, I'm 19. Fighting. Yeah. Uh, I was doing everything. I remember my auntie came. I told her I couldn't do school no more. She came. We packed up and I went to, back to Town Creek. Mm-hmm. Um, and one day I was like, I, I got to do something. I got to do something. So my what my made folks you... were sick of me. My folks were sick of me. Sick of getting me out of jail. Sick of me in fights. I always hear my name and stuff. Right. So I ended up, I'm like, hey, I'm going to go take the ass bath test. Went over there on 6th Avenue. To the, probably um, aced it. Took the ass bath test. I'm thinking, you know, they finna send me out months away. Months. Right. They sent me in two weeks. <laughs> ASAP, we're not playing with you. in two weeks to Fort Seal, Oklahoma. Yeah. Where's Bumble? I finished, um, so I was a 12 November, a horizontal construction engineer. Okay. Um, went home on Christmas, got damn pregnant. <laughs> on Christmas. <laughs> it was either Christmas or New Year's. <laughs> wow. Got pregnant. With I your finished, daughter. Yep, with my daughter. She's now 11. I finished basic training pregnant because I was terrified to tell them. Finished basic training pregnant. Mm-hmm. Then when you go to AIT, I was getting sick, so I had to get sent home. Had to get sent home. Yeah. Had to get sent Given home. Given the situation. Yes. So y'all know I had three babies back to back while I was in the military. And my cousin was my sergeant, so he kind of looked out for me. So I ended up getting oh, out. Word? Yes. So he ended up in Oklahoma. No, I was stationed in um, Muscle Shows. Oh. So I that's where they were sending you to. Yes, that's where gotcha. training was in in Oklahoma. And then you came and back, then to, I Muscle came Shows. back to Muscle Shows. Got gotcha, you. Got gotcha, you. He gotcha. looked up. He looked out for me. They ended up giving me veteran status. I got out October of 2019. Mm-hmm. Went in October of 2011. So yeah. It was like a camp. Hold up, so those eight, hold up, cause we gonna get to that. Hold up, you said twenty eleven to twenty nineteen. Mm-hmm. So was you having to go back and do certain stuff in mm-hmm. between those? You was. I had to go back to AIT to finish training, the one I got sent home for, and then I was what they call a weekend warrior. So I would go to um, drill mm-hmm. once a month. And most of the shows. Yep. Suit up and everything. Yeah. So tell me a little bit about basic training though. Like when you was there, which I was getting up at like the ass crack. Ooh. Basic what? training. The ass crack are done. Pause. <laughs> Pause. <laughs> yeah, I was getting. I didn't feel like I had to say it because I'm sitting with one with. Pause. He said, what? The ass crack are done. And my, <laughs> yeah, my bad. It's right. The root. It's the, okay. the, okay. the yeah, the roosters was. You know what I'm saying? I don't know. Like, basic training was. I was a hot head. My mouth is bad. I talk back. I'm not. I don't like taking directions from nobody. Mm-hmm. Drill sergeant all in your face. Getting up. I ain't like being on no schedule for one. Getting up. They telling you when to eat. Telling you when you can go to sleep. Like jail. 
It really was. But at the same time, it was like a camp. Like, you meet so many people. You meet, you're going to have lifetime friendships. Mm -hmm. Like, I still talk to some of my battles. There's like sergeants now. They are in Hawaii. They're in Japan. Like, I just love watching them, watching them grow. I really wish I would have stayed in there. So, you was on your Rihanna on Battleship shit? That's the thing. So you know, <laughs> let me tell you, so, oh, they hated me. Every time it was time to go to the field, every time we had to do ruck marches, running, shooting. Yeah, how did you aim? What kind of shot? No, I can shoot now. I can shoot. Can you? I can shoot. You have to learn how to shoot to That's pass. A fact. That's like, a fact. you get a test every week, and if you don't pass, they knock you back, your graduation back. But, like, y'all, that um, gas chamber, I thought I died. I know I died. You know you died. I you know passed I died out and they woke you up. And my drill sergeant, my platoon, they were so mad at me because we all had to take our gas masks off when we got in there. I'm looking at folks pass out on the ground about to die. I'm not taking my, I said, I'm not taking this shit off. Hell no. My drill sergeant ran over there and yanked it off of me and I died. That's so the gas like. masks that people be smoking in with the little. Yes, that's what you go in. It's trying to teach you how to be calm in case you become a prisoner of war. Mm -hmm. But it's no way. It's no way to be calm in there. I died. Wow. So you, died. but you actually liked being in the service, though. Like you didn't think you was gonna like it going in, and then all of a sudden it came. Um, you just started to like it. I ain't gonna say I started to like it because my contract had um, five years mobility, my first five years. So mm -hmm. that meant if my unit got deployed, I didn't have to deploy. So they ended up getting oh, deployed okay. like my first year there, but I didn't I was safe, so I didn't have to go. Right. Then, you know, I got pregnant three times, which kinda kept me on medical. Leave. <laughs> right. Right, so right, right. I didn't have to do nothing. I didn't have to do nothing. Then once again my sergeant was my cousin, so he looked out for me. All I really had to do was go to um drill. And that was it. That See, was about and, it. I'm, and I'm glad you brought it up as far as having the kids back to back. That was my next question as far as was how did uh, motherhood change you or did it make, I mean, obviously it made you better. Obviously it made you a better person. Obviously it made you more dependable, more stable. But like, how, like what age was it when it like, okay, of course you had your three, but what age was it when you was like, all right, man, mm -mm. it's time for me to be a grown yeah. woman. Probably, probably three, four years ago. Let's see, I liked it because that's probably honest. three or four years ago. Because that's honest. I had my daughter in 2012, and I was still bullshitting out here. Right. Still doing the same stuff. I was look here. I was hell. I was, oh, we know. <laughs> I was hell. <laughs> we know. Then I had my son. <laughs> still hell. Um, had my other son. <laughs> still hell. Shout him out. What's like, up? Tell them, tell, tell Aiden, the people their names and their ages. Aiden is Aiden is eleven. Yeah. Still here. Then I was um, looking like then I you. Had, Shout out to Ain't looks still like her daddy. Ain't looks right. like her daddy. Don't say I'm still here. I just caught that. Then um, my second <laughs> baby, cool. whatever, Carson. Car we call him Jace. He's mm -hmm. ten. And then my, boy. my baby boy, Princeton. We call him Nuke. His birthday is today. Happy birthday, baby. Happy birthday, Nuke. And he hey, is happy birthday, Nuke. Eight. Happy birthday. He turned. He turned eight. But y'all, I'm telling y'all. Uh, yeah. My oldest daughter, my daughter is 11. I probably just got my shit together probably three years ago. Mm -hmm. Like, let's be honest, y'all. So, my close friends that know me. Mm -hmm. Okay, let's be real. Yeah, this is the Wild Wild Podcast. Because if, if I feel like you capping, I'm going to call you out anyway. I'm being real. My, so, you might as like, well. Yeah. My folks raised me well. Mm -hmm. I did wrong on my own. <laughs> That's most I of did it wrong on my own So let's not say they was bad Because I, I just fucked up on my own Right. So I was homeless Let's see I don't know I had to get my shit together I didn't know who My baby girl daddy was Let's, let's take that back Let's be clear And I for think real? I faulted myself for that I remember having my daughter And looking at her and I was like I'm gonna promise, I promise you I'm gonna find your daddy. I'm going to find out who your daddy is. Which I knew the people I slept with, but I didn't know who got me pregnant exactly, right, or whatever. Right. And my auntie had to tell me, like, Meg, you're not the first and you're not going to be the last to do some shit like that. Right. So I'm like, okay. Um, had apartments. Got evicted. 
had cars. Got them repoed. Like, I did a lot of shit. Um, put my sh kids and stuff. Um, almost got my kids taken from me. I did a lot of shit. I remember, I remember us being homeless, like living with different people and walking to work just to feed my kids. And I remember one day it just clicked. I was just like, I'm not finna keep putting y'all through this. Mm -hmm. Like, mama gonna get it together. I'm not finna keep putting y'all through this. One thing about me is I always had my kids, though. I don't care how bad I struggled. I wasn't putting my kids on nobody. Right. They wouldn't go with my parents. They weren't going to my sisters. I had my kids. Because I felt like I had them. Y'all stand with me. So I'm saying now, like, three, maybe four years ago, I just got my shit together. I did. Like, I got a good job. Kept the job. Kept the car. Kept the job. This That's is, important. Kept yeah, clap it up for that. That's important. Y'all, like, it that was, is. It was crazy. Like, I did a lot of stuff. And I think my people... People think I'm just so strong. I don't have a choice now. Like, I don't have a... I don't, but see, that's I don't what I wanted time. you to elaborate on. That's what I wanted you because now, like I said, because you kind of um, getting us into these topics organically. You know what I'm saying? I'm so glad you said that. And it's, it go in everything what you're saying right now. Let's talk about the woman that you became. What you walking to work, uh, providing for your kids, and you being homeless. And not saying just keep touching on it, just your struggle. <laughs> Because people now who, let's say the 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 new found the new fame found people yeah. who following you and subscribing to you now and now they you know what I'm saying they seeing the the Megan that's progressing yeah, now but they, they didn't did. see they did from 19 or 18 to now so explain to us like what like you becoming the woman that you are with you going back to school to get a degree. And you being a shift leader at Mazda Toyota, and even just that in general, like that's a hard position. A, a black, let's say, not just a woman, a black woman in power. Some type of, you know what I'm saying? Like, still, you can depend on, or depict on. Okay, if I want him to work here or not, or if I can yeah. in real life, you know what I'm saying? But I'm just saying, not even that. It's just like, tell us how this, like, how did, how did this make you a better woman? How did you, all of those bumps and bruises and speed bumps and nose and redirecting and all of that, like, how, how has that made you become the woman that you are today? Let's just say the, the person I am today can't even touch right. me 10 years ago. How it's supposed to be. Five years ago. Can't even touch me now. All right. When I say I'm on my shit right now, like, I club a lot. Like, y'all be seeing. <laughs> I club. Because you live out here. <laughs> You live out here. Like, you live out here. But let me you tell y'all why though. Like I, I, I don't feel. I never gave my me a chance to feel. Mm -hmm. I hate sitting at home in my feelings. I hate thinking about stuff that I could have changed or I, you know, could have fixed. <clears throat> I hate my past. Like I hate niggas that I didn't get a chance that it just whatever. I hate sitting at home, so I go out. That's what I do. That's how I get over my stuff. I go out. Most folks be sheltered in in the house. I can't sit at the house. I cannot sit down at all. So your outlet is going out. It is. And I yeah. need to stop because I'm a drinker to the point where I don't be knowing what the fuck happened the next day. <laughs> like, I don't. This is the and it's, that's my it. outlet. Like, that's the only time I don't have to feel shit. That's the only time. But then as soon as I wake up, I'm back to feeling. You and you and Grip <laughs> mode, like what I. Back there. But like, as far as me now, I don't have time to play around. Like, I don't have time to be with people that don't know what they want in life. Right. Um, people that's still trying to figure themselves <laughs> out. I don't have time because all the decisions I make now is going to reflect my three kids. That's a fact. Every, every, every decision, decision make. I make. I don't have time to wait around on nobody. What's a fact? At all. Because my kids, is come, they, they, my, they my first mindset right there. Like dudes. I ain't gonna lie. Like dudes. Mm -mm. It's so many dudes be talk, trying to talk to me. I don't even be interested for real because I know what I bring to the table. And, I, and I'm probably going to bring the table. Here you go. I'm, for real, I'm probably going to bring the table. I have been the, what is the word? 
You tell me. I've been a breadwinner. I'm telling you, I've only been in like three serious relationships, and I have been the breadwinner in all of my relationships. I'm not knocking you for that. I'm not saying what you bring. I'm just saying y'all women in general, y'all killing us with the... I am the table. I bring the table. We, cause, right? cause we the niggas these days. Like we. No, that's cause y'all act like. No, not cause we act like. It's cause we have to be. We got. Not with everybody. We, we, we have to be it's, strong for ourselves. Well, you do, be, but it's, it's who you. Mm-hmm. It ain't about you mm-hmm. depending, but it's mm-hmm. about the type of dudes you dealing with too, though. Correction, cause my ex. Huh? It's, it's the niggas you choose, right? It's the it yeah. Is. It is okay, so, though. Okay, so okay, you right. <laughs> you <laughs> Okay, so, yeah, I, okay, do. so I stepped out of my comfort zone this last relationship I was in. Mm-hmm. The motherfucker was eight, seven, eight years younger than me. Cool. <laughs> <laughs> and let me tell y'all, like when I say that motherfucker applied pressure, like he was my friend first. That's mm-hmm. what got me, my friend first. Um, I spent the night with him one time. The first time I spent the night with him, didn't even touch me. Didn't try to fuck nothing. I was like, okay, okay. Like the motherfucker took, he took care of my <laughs> mind, made sure my mental was straight. You know, let you get your shit he off. made go sure ahead. my mental was straight. Go ahead. Here yeah. you go, cause we finna talk. We, do you uh, want to talk about the date? Do you no, want to talk about it? No, we ain't talking about. Are you that. sure? You That's the talk second about part. The date? No, this is about you. This ain't about me. <laughs> you think so? Cause you shout out too. <laughs> You shout out. We ain't gonna talk about that. The second part, we'll talk about that day. But we ain't talking about me though, because there's a lot that lead up to that day too. Dudes, though, don't do that. Go ahead. Um, he said it's the dudes I kid. that you yeah you choose got, to deal with. Yeah, but that one we ain't talking about him. This is a good one. He, so he keep was. explaining. Go ahead, keep he explaining. Was. Keep explaining. He was straight. Like what made him different? Because you chilled with him the first night and he didn't try to do nothing to you. Uh, no, I um we work separate shifts. So mm-hmm. when I'm at I'm on. Oh yeah, work together too. Yeah, yeah. whatever. So I'm on nights. He would, you know, I'd be like on my phone, like, "Ooh, I want this. I want that." I'm be just me talking yeah. in general. Oh, I want this. Oh, I gotta get this. And he be listening to shit. Next thing I know, the stuff be at my house, oh. or it's in my car. Like he listening to what I'm sitting here talking about. What you need? Bar Simpson. Go ahead, I ain't go ahead. You got it, man. Go ahead, you're like, come. No disrespect, but come on, I'm man. Not used like that though like oh, i overheard you never mind i don't want to sound like him you got it my bad Meg. my bad my bad because they're going to take this the wrong way no I'll say shout out to say. him no no go ahead because i want to hear Cause you mad because we went on a one day and i left that ass you gonna oh, do me like so. this with the cameras thought on so. like that thought but so. you're not going to tell when the part was, that led up to all of that though on my goddamn door <laughs> why was i beating on your door because i want to let you in is that the truth what's what's the truth is that the truth? I'm just saying, what's the truth? That's the truth? Yeah. Because you want to let me in while I was beating on your door? Okay, so why would you be beating on the door then? Stop that, man. It's not about me. Okay, let's change something. It's not about me. We're not changing something. We're staying on there. So my man, he was coming up with stuff. He would be in your car to be, you know what I'm saying? He's being nice for a minute. What else? We listening. Mm-hmm. Let's see. So I'm on Cause night. Because you teaching us something. So when I'm on night, mm-hmm. you know, my my little boy, he got basketball practice. He taking him to basketball practice for me, making sure he ate the kids straight and stuff like that. I don't know. Mm. It was just different. Yeah, it was. Like, it was times he'd be like, I'm lying. Like, ain't shit wrong with me. He'd be like, yes, it is. I see it on your face. I'm like, okay, cool, whatever. He spends enough time around you to be know. Like, yeah, or he just be like, you need, you good? You straight? Like, are you mentally straight? And I'm like, yeah, I'm fine. So he checked on your mental. He was yeah. he was there. He was good. And the motherfucker was young as hell, too. Cool. <laughs> so what else you want to say? The floor is yours. Is there anything All else you want to say? You sure? Mm-hmm. I got a question. Go ahead. Please do. What went wrong? If it was <sighs> everything. That's the next. I'm did. glad you said that, boy. You didn't. Ooh. That's the next subject. Whoa, the next whoa, subject. Whoa, 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 whoa. Oh. So, okay. Before. Not too, too much. Before. Okay. Before. Before. All right. We're going to purchase this before because this is the moment of truth. <coughs> Excuse me. I got to clear my throat for this pause. <laughs> so, this is some of a topic. I'm glad you brought that up, JJ. <laughs> This is a topic that the city been wanting to know about for the past two, three months. They didn't think we was going to do this. Now we're here. Now's the moment of truth. Okay? It was a situation at a house party that we need to know about. Right? Without. Mm, you heard about it. 
<laughs> nah, just just a genuine going in the flow, right? Just genuinely going in the flow. So this is now you got the floor to clear all this up because I'm telling you now, I'm gonna give you pushback. I believe everything you say, but I'm gonna give you pushback though. Just because people gonna be mad at me if I don't give you pushback. You know what I'm saying? So the floor is yours, Meg. What happened? What was the what Woo. happened? Um <laughs> Take your time now. Take your time. Do your thing. I ain't never really been too, I ain't never really cared too much about clearing up shit mm -hmm. for real. Mm -hmm. That's why I still ain't cleared oh, up. Just... I still ain't clear I, I don't clear up nothing. Like Big just don't say I'm on crack. Other than that, I don't clear up shit. Mm -hmm. I don't be caring. Like I don't I don't care what folks think or say about me. I don't care at all. Mm -hmm. The cat are gonna paint their own narrative anyway. That's true. And it's so crazy because it was only maybe three or four people when the incidents happened, when it started. Another thing, folks need to take accountability for their own motherfucking actions. True. That's what they need to do. Mm -hmm. Um, it's so many rumors. Like I heard that I was getting a train ran on me in the bathroom. What the fuck I look like? See, I wasn't gonna say. Uh, what the fuck yeah, I look like? You? Never got a train run on me. It was literally two people in the bathroom. Well, three, including myself, was a guy and my homegirl. That's it. Um, another thing, I never got caught fucking. Let's talk. Never got caught fucking. Let's put that to bed. Let's put that to bed. Never got caught fucking. I'm not gonna go into detail, like straight detail, because the situation. It was fucked up. It was crazy it could have went so much smoother if people would have just talked mm. or whatever i had already knew i had fucked up anyway when at the time my boyfriend came knocking on the damn door trying to see what was going on trying to see what was going on right, but right, like right, right. honestly i'm sitting here trying to figure out how the hell i'm gonna tell him you know why such and such is in here with us whatever but like nothing happened for real nothing happened we was in there literally me and my homegirl was peeing literally that's all the fuck. my um boyfriend at the time came in on some more shit when he could have just came in and just talked to me honestly he came in on some more shit yeah but like like i said playing devil's advocate not to cut you off <laughs> giving pushback come on meg if i'm with you and i'm knocking on the door and i can't get in and then when i do get in it's a whole Nigga in the bathroom. Yeah. Yeah, I'm gonna be feeling I'm yeah, not I'm I not talking about what that. happened yeah. after. No, I'm not talking about what happened that. after. I'm talking about him that. feeling some type of way. I definitely understand right, that part right, right, on his right. behalf. I understand him feeling some type of way because I would have felt some type of way too. But I I, I really wish he would have just came in and just talked to me. Right. But I he told me he blacked out, um, and some shit went down, got the fighting. And I think I fought myself because I shouldn't have left him there. But the shit happened so fast, like, when folks started coming in there and stuff, they was telling us to get the fuck out of there. They was telling us to get it out of there. Yeah, it, it, the shit happened so fast. Right, like, right, right. I still sit like, damn, this shit really happened. But do you feel like if you could go back now, would you have changed anything? Oh, and yeah. if so, what, what would you have changed? I think I would have took my goddamn stuff out the bathroom. But I'm telling y'all, I don't know. The shit happened so fast. I shouldn't have left him. Only thing I fought myself for, because nothing happened for one. Right. Two, only thing I fought myself for was for leaving him there. That's my only thing. And that's not that's not even like me. But it happened so fast. They were telling us to leave. So we I left. Mm -hmm. I, if I knew the shit was going to go down like that, I wouldn't have left him there. But like my homegirl and my cousin had called me afterwards. And they said, you know, he was walking around looking for his phone. So... I'm thinking he was straight. I didn't know that the I all know, the he, extra I happened. didn't know right, that right, shit right. happened. And then right, the video right. circulated. And honestly, he sent me he he sent me the video. I never even seen the video. He sent me the video. To this day, I still haven't even watched the damn video because I don't want to. I don't want to see that. I understand um, that. I finally talked to him two weeks later. I went to his house, and that's when he started showing me the pictures of himself at the ER and stuff like that. And I'm just like. Damn, like I shouldn't have left you. That's the only thing I fought myself for. I shouldn't have left him there. Like I shouldn't have left him there. So you know, and so you know what it is now, though, right? What? 
It's flowers, it's candy, it's R and B time. It's, it's time, none of time to make up. When I, it's no, it's not, y'all. When it I is. say this shit happened three months ago, and then when I say the motherfucker standing on business, not talking to me. Can you blame him? Yes and no, because motherfuckers be grown until it's time to communicate. That's a fact. Until it's time to communicate. That's a fact. I ain't got no. Report and like I that. said, folks need to take accountability for their own shit that happened because. You did some shit too. You ain't have to stab nobody at all. You could have just came in and asked me what the fuck was up. That's all you had to ask. So it's not. It wasn't just, gonna be that simple. I know though. that, but it's not now, just he my He shouldn't fault. have did the stabbing and all that. That's not what I'm saying. The cutting and all that, but it wasn't gonna be coming from a man's standpoint because I have to give you some kind of pushback. Yeah. It's not gonna happen like that. He's not coming in on a peaceful time. He's not. Now, did he handle it wrong? Yes. yes. Have I handled stuff wrong? Yes. Yeah. But not coming in there on some... Um, That's why I say, like... Chopping it. Nah, it's I not, ain't It's not all that. just me, though. Like, you're not talking to me. And I think it's just more so because the motherfucking embarrassed. I think that's but really it's what all, it is. It's all parties I mean, involved, but, though. But you're the, he's the one showing everybody. Showing everybody what? The video. <laughs> Now that's wild. That's what I'm now that's wild. I you know the one showing part. everybody the video stop. at work. Random ass people coming to me. Such stop and doing such, that. such and such showing yeah, me the video. I'm I mean, like, why are you even showing the video? But I ain't gonna lie. Like, I lost my best friend at night. I did because the motherfucker was my best friend. Gotcha. I lost my best friend at night. Gotcha. And I have. I for three months I've been texting this motherfucker <laughs> saying sorry. Just like talk. At least talk to me. God mm -hmm. damn. At least talk to me. And it's crazy because I stayed with him um, Christmas Eve and Christmas Day or whatever. And I'm thinking, you know, we going, maybe going to work towards some shit. And then, wow. like, the next day after that, it's something snapped in his head. He don't say shit to me. We, he, we walk past each other at work like we don't know each other. Like, we fucking strangers. Like, the but, shit, the shit, it, it bothers me. Because the wound's still open. It's still fresh. But damn. I mean, it's three months. You can at least stay high. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, but you gotta feel it though. Man. You gotta feel it. That's what y'all do to us. It's different. Like I can be ignored in text messages. That's different. I'm not gonna speak to you in public and you ignore me. I don't need no tissues. <laughs> yeah, I was so funny. Hold up. I start paying my pockets. Like, hold up. You had a you. you yeah, I'm hurt. I'm telling y'all, I'm hurt. But that's what we need her to do though. I'm Tell your truth. About it. I'm telling you, I have cried. <laughs> Look. I didn't call my friends. I be crying. I be sitting mm -hmm. in the parking lot at work trying to get myself together, crying. You can cry right now. But guess mm -hmm. what? Yeah, you can. But nah, guess what? Nah, y'all ain't finna see me. Cry. He's gonna watch this. So tell no, him. He's not. Tell him. Yes, he is. What I'm are you talking about right now? No. He's gonna watch this. Mm -mm. Say what you want to say mm -mm. to him. Twin, where have you been? <laughs> <laughs> Twin, where have you been? <laughs> Nobody wow. loves you. Hey, but I ain't mad at the door. I ain't mad at the door. Shout out to Twin. Shout out to Twin. Yeah. And then, and then even if we don't, you know, get back together in the future, at least give me my friendship back. Give my friendship back. That don't come with it. That's so serious. And I always tell him too, if we ever break, I don't want to be friends with you no more. But shit, I miss my, I miss my friend. Like you I, can't have it both ways. <sighs> we not doing it. I used to go with you. I'm not for the. Hold on. Who the fuck? Who the fuck? What? Who used to go with who? No, 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 don't do that. See, now you trying to play me. You see what I'm saying? Who, who you used Stop to that, go man, because now you're going to make me start talking. Who did you used to go with? Do I have to start talking? Because that wasn't the point of us doing this. I'm to figure out. I'm talking about you and, and, and Buddy. Oh, not... I'm going to say because. No, man, you never went together. Thank you. I'm so glad you cleared it up. <laughs> now you're going to make me start talking. <laughs> don't do that. See, I was keeping Mook this out. Cool, when I say Mook is consistent... <laughs> This motherfucker consistent. He has asked me on dates and dates and dates and dates and dates. So I finally, I'm like, cool. He <clears> called me one night. I'm like, okay. He's like, pick your restaurant and be ready at such and such time. So I'm like, okay, cool. Make sure you put that shit on. Like he said, I'm like, okay, cool. What time you tell me to be ready? Six? Six or seven. The motherfucker got to my house at eight o'clock. I was already pissed the fuck off about that. You was looking good too. Then I got clothes on. Do y'all know, know this motherfucker had on? Like this. Some white goddamn. Beater. I don't know. A white beater and shorts. some goddamn 
shorts. I did, but I was ready to take you out though. We went to Dave and Buster's. We in went to your me. sister house first, and I'm like, for the blue I, game. I'm not. I don't want to do. I don't think going on a date to come to your sister house. Why not? You was cool, with my sister. I, I'm not. I'm. I love your sister. I'm cool with your sister, right. but if you finna take me on a date, why would you take me to your sister house? As soon as we pulled up, you went to your best friend house. <laughs> <laughs> I did. My best friend lived about that. She be needing parts out. I forgot about <laughs> that. Yeah, I was telling my best friend, "Bitches, you at home because we pulling why up." Why you in, do me like we that? We pulling up though. in your stuff, bitch, in your apartment. <laughs> See why you do me like that? Though. As soon as I got out, I walked to my So let me ask you this. Let me ask you this now. Let me ask you this. How you know I ain't got no old lady now? And you on here just spilling everything. Up. I don't care. <laughs> so where they leave me at though? No. My man, you don't need your. <laughs> Real nigga. <laughs> hey, hey, I don't got my man. <laughs> hey, we need a break. Hold on, we need a break. We need a break. We need a break. Hold on. You better get your twin back. Oh, no, fuck you. How are you going to do You got real quiet. You Anyways. came after. You got real quiet. Y'all, I came after and I lasted probably like two weeks. But that's your fault, though. <laughs> But that's two, your fault, maybe though. Maybe two weeks. I got the hell headed. That's your fault, though. Right or wrong? That's not my fault. It's not? It was a blessing. In disguise? That I got the hell headed. You know what? We not going to do this. Because I don't want to mess up nothing. You got going on. I don't got shit going on. Obviously. Mine messed up three months ago. Obviously. <laughs> <laughs> I don't got shit going on. Obviously. <laughs> So anyway, <laughs> speaking of that, oh, so mean. Speaking of that, nah, no disrespect. It wasn't like that. My bad. No Honestly. disrespect. <laughs> Obviously, you don't have nothing going on as far as that department, nope. but it's not like you couldn't. So we ain't getting on to that. So answer me this: not even just a specific number. Give me some red flags uh, about men that just absolutely like. You can't do like even if it's from the beginning, even if it's after y'all start rocking, just something. Just give me some like nose that you just cannot like red flags. Like I'm straight on you, bro. And this ain't got nothing to do with me and you. So don't throw no little shots or no little none of that. This is we talking about you, Meg, as the person. It might be weird, but I hate Good Morning Texts. <laughs> Why? But if 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 we don't I hit do you not up. Like I don't it's like it. It's a it. problem. Like, no, oh, you ain't. It really ain't. You ain't thought about me today. So you want that lunchtime text? Yeah, I don't like. And the cash out. <laughs> and the cash out. She don't need it, I but you would like, take it. I don't like good morning every day. I be like, like the uh, what's the good morning beautiful? Yeah, I don't. I hate y'all. That's, corn. that's corn ball <laughs> I it hate cornball it. behavior. It is cornball behavior. You word it like that. It's cornball behavior. It. I be like. It's anyways, cool about I'd be like, just, you know what, yeah, anyways. But I really don't even have red flags for real. So do you hit the guy Do you hit the guy first? Would you hit him up first if you really liked him? Would you hit him mm, up first? Yeah. Would you double text? Oh, yeah. I'm, oh, I'm double texting. Triple Fuck, text. you thought this triple. Oh, because you pulling up. So you need to see. Oh, yeah, you're going to have to respond back to my shit. Call into him? Um, Not so much. I don't know, because my ex. Yeah. <laughs> I didn't want that motherfucker like... <laughs> See what I'm saying? <laughs> a million times. You specified it. He says that one person. Right, 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 right. right. Like no, okay. no. I got to like really be feeling you for me to double text. But when I get crazy, I get crazy. And I don't even like to be like that. So you think men do? But I'm going to double text though because what the fuck? What's so important? I hate hearing, oh, I've been at work all day. Okay. What's wrong with it? It takes two seconds to shoot a text. Or this different just because y'all live together. Yeah. I mean, I live. Y'all work together. So that's different. It depends on what his job is. So you mean to tell me out of a eight hour shift you have you mean to tell me you have no time whatsoever. No, that's to cow. send a hey what's up or hey just checking on you text. That's it's cow. No way. That's cow. That's what I'm saying. It's no way. That's cow. I just told somebody the other day I don't have time to text you every five minutes. Yeah, I don't understand. I, nah, don't. I don't text me every I don't. Minutes. I don't. I just, like I don't have time because I'm doing other stuff. I don't. Whether you see it or you don't, and this ain't about me. It's just in general. Mm. So, look at you. Stop hating, man. Stop hating. You know, I never tell you. No, I'm playing. Anyway, give me some type of red flag. Mm. Something has to be a turnoff to you. It has to be. 
I go by looks too now. Like, I'm sorry. That you got I gotta be somewhat attracted to you some way. That's so okay. the two part question. What's the turn off? You said it before. What's right. the turn off after? Like That's say, what I was saying. Okay. After y'all get the rocking. Like say you you in the talking stage. Yeah, 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 after. yeah, yeah. 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 Mm-hmm. Let's just say I'm you're kicking with somebody for like a couple of weeks, a month, and I'm then real. something happened. It's like you know what? You ain't who I thought you was. Or right, right, right. I'm real, I'm real the honeymoon family. stage phase, yeah, they, phased off. I'm mm-hmm. family oriented, so if you got like nieces and nephews and stuff that you, I don't hear you talking about them, or you, because you gonna hear me talk about my niece and nephew. You might get tired mm-hmm. of me talking about them, mm-hmm. but you don't go see them. You don't be talking to your mama, mm-hmm. and you don't go to church. That's the main one. Like I know I do my stuff outside, but I'm taking my I'm I'm going to church. I'm going to I'm going to church. And I'd be looking at folks like, You don't go to church? G L C C G L C C come visit. But like I ain't gonna pressure you to go to church, but I need to be like, Where you at? Oh, I'm at church. I'm going to church today. You All have right. to go to church with me or for, for me. So if, if so if he was so if he was with you, would he? Yeah, because they are. I got to give it to her. These are my daughters, y'all. I didn't even think she. I don't. She yeah, I and did. she told me when I left the house, don't mess up her shoes. I did. not That's why I, I don't wear tennis shoes. My bad. These hey, are my daughters. That's why I said that. So you telling me if a man didn't go to church and like you wouldn't be with him? I wasn't gonna say I wouldn't be with him because I'm gonna I'm gonna make you go to church. How you gonna make them go to church? Because like, if you want to be with me, I feel like it's a, it's a compromise. You gotta it's give and take. You gotta be willing. To you gotta be willing. Yeah. It show me that you want to get into the things that I like. like so are you willing like, to do that on the flip side? Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Okay. I really would. Like All I'm right. very open with you. I'm gonna be open to new ideas and stuff like that. But yeah, church and family. Like if you disrespecting your mama and stuff, blah, uh, cause. How you finna treat me? That's how it's gonna be with me. Yeah. How you finna treat me? That's true. Yeah. But so them only two red flags. It's got to be something else. Of course, obviously how how a man looks. Of course, that's anybody. People be lying if they said that they didn't care yeah. about looks. Yes, you do. You do unless you ugly, and then you just don't care. I really don't. <laughs> and then you just don't care. I, I mean, that's obviously <laughs> what it is, bro. If you, I mean, it is. Like what they be saying, it's the personality and all that. Oh, he no, I'm not going, it. no. I hate when folks say that. He makes me laugh. He the cutest thing, but he made me laugh. Like, yeah, he be saying no. stuff like that. Yeah, like, oh, but you don't want to be seen in public. Man, with. my folks don't play, gotcha. baby. They don't dock. Word? <laughs> Your people like that? My, my home mom side. <laughs> they ain't going to say it to you. <laughs> they going to say it to when you. When I leave, they be like, because right. what's going on, man? Right. They don't, y'all don't even look like that. Yeah. You don't, you don't compliment him like that. Y'all don't even look right. Mm-mm. So let me ask you this. This is something that I want to... Um, oh, man, I didn't bump the K-Camp. This is something I wanted to ask you. This some It's a game that I want to play on every one of my episodes. Okay, uh, if you down. Okay, let's go. It's called Either Or. It's a 10-part question. Okay. You know, situation. So my first one is... Um, oh, she's cute. Don't do that, man. <laughs> Why you do that? Okay, good. Who's keeping it? Okay. Just, Why you do that? Either or. Because now you're going to make me say something on camera that I don't want to say. <laughs> okay, either or. That ain't going to. Yeah, either or, man. Don't do that. What up, bro? The shooter. So, uh, nah, don't be peeking either. Light skinned guys or dark skinned guys? Oh, um. Dark now. Why? I don't know. Dark got that. Ooh, like that grown. I don't know. It's something about a dark man now. Cause the lights can do is just two. It's two bad chicks in the car. I remember I heard somebody <laughs> saying it. Somebody told you me laughing, that it was. But somebody told me this before. But when we went on our date, yeah. I was mad cause he wore something like this, and he was like, "We don't matter about clothes. It's my face. It's my face." I said, "Oh yes." And now we got two bad bitches in the car. <laughs> That's why he said. <laughs> you, ain't, you you know what? We are moving on. Forget all that. You said dark skin, cool. We moving on. We ain't doing all of it. All right, cool. I kind of know this next answer, but I want to know. Nikki or Cardi B? Come on now. Come on. I want to say Nikki. You already know Nikki, my cousin. That's a fact. You a bard? I'm definitely a bard. 
But why you don't rock with, with Cardi? Mm-mm, I'm Onika. Onika, my I can't even believe you even asked me she that f- question. Yeah, I'll move you to the side for her. So listen, more, morning shift or night shift? Night shift. You don't have all the HR people, all the supervisors there. You know, That's you, though. I'm talking about the folks hired to me. <laughs> <laughs> okay. You have all like the managers, all, like our Japanese advisors. I, yeah. I love night shift. I'll be up anyway. It's smooth. And then my kids, like, I'm not missing none because they be sleep. Gotcha. And then when I'm on nights, I can go to all that stuff at school. So. That's true. That's true. That was kind of give me. Definitely night shift. That was kind of give me. My next one, um, respect or loyalty. It comes hand in hand. It does, but explain though. I feel like you're going to be loyal to me, you're going to respect me. But it depends on what they're getting out of it. Okay, let me see. Ooh, that's hard. Hey, somebody could be loyal Ooh, to you. But you're they like don't respect you. That's what I'm saying. That but they can do it because of the cause. They can be loyal to the cause and not you. Mm, loyalty or respect. Give me my respect because I can just, I know how to handle it. If you ain't loyal, I can know how to handle Give me it. my yeah. respect. Well, just give me my respect, though. Yeah, I like that. I mean, it really ain't no wrong answer yeah. to that. But like I said, somebody can be loyal to you who really don't respect you, but they loyal to the cause. Let me not say you, they loyal to the cause. You could be paying them, they could be getting somebody else, they could be getting clout, they could be getting whatever the case may be, but they really don't respect you. They behind your back talking crazy, right? That's a good answer. So, okay, listen, because these next two, I'm going to get you on these next two. All right? I ain't got nothing to do, don't, yeah, nothing, nothing, nothing like that. When you first people man out, right, do you look at his teeth or his feet first? Teeth. Why? Why? Cause I ain't gonna walk up to you looking, looking down first. Let me. Why not? Eye to eye. No, we gonna be. I don't know. It's something about teeth though. It's something about teeth. Cause your smile. I just took my. I just got braces off. I can get my teeth fixed. He can too, you right? Can, you can too. I don't care what you're doing. You was finna say he funner. You gotta stop with that demand, and you gotta <laughs> stop that. You gotta stop that. It see? is for real. No, I understand. I'm looking, and then y'all know them little memes that be talking about the, like everybody missing their side too. Mm mm. Not yeah, the, the missing side too from your twenties yeah, is crazy. You gotta have, you gotta have your, gotta have your teeth. Cause now I'm trying to figure out why, what's wrong. Why are you laughing like this? Not even dead. Like why will you not get your teeth fixed? Self care. It's too is the much best technology care. and everything going around these days for That's you not to have fact. your, for you not to have your teeth fixed. So definitely teeth, <laughs> definitely teeth. <laughs> Definitely. Now, okay, so 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 a, a, a second part question that which I didn't have written down, but um, what, like okay, how can I ask this? Does it? Can you tell when a man got on clothes that he just chilling, or he just got off? Obviously, when he just got off work, but like if he just chilling, he just threw some on versus I know he can put some on. Or it looked like he over trying. Cause you know there's some dudes who got on designer from head to toe and they look crazy, it's uncomfortable, yeah. goofballs. Broke. Bro, I ain't wanna say that. His For rent, real, his rent you got dude, designer on but, For real. Yeah, his rent dude, but he went and bought a mirror everything. Yeah, Boy, you saying, tripping, so bro. Really mm. You tweaking. No, I'm saying can as as a woman, speaking from a woman's standpoint, can you see when a man like, okay, he just threw this on to come out today? Or I know he can do better than that. Or he's like trying too hard. Well, what he got on? I don't think I really too much pay attention to that. Yeah, you do. No, I really. Yes, don't. you do. I take that back because you came with that on. Yeah, but I was chilling. You though. didn't give. You didn't give enough. But man, you had a pass though, so you I feel like I didn't have to put all that on to do all of it. You had on a mink coat. These days, you can who's going tell. to Dave and Buster's? What's that? I got a mink coat. Yes, you did. I still got the picture. <laughs> <laughs> Don't do that. But where See, is it supposed you... to go? It's supposed to go to the char, though. It was close. That was close. Because you got there two hours late. But okay, anyways. Fact. I apologize. Um, I apologize. Anyways. Yeah. Yeah, so you can, can you... tell. You can tell when, like, a dude just getting off work. Because these days, people... That's obvious. People I ain't talking about him with the work suit on. I'm talking about, like, okay, if he came to the club, can you see if... He put some on like he's trying too hard. 
don't or this is his thing. regular yeah. drill. This is normal to him. I feel like if you got on designer shoes, mm-hmm. shirt, pants, socks, socks, drawers, um, the chains, I feel like you definitely, definitely trying to try too hard. He really lame. Definitely trying too hard. So do you think guys dress for their homeboys instead of girls? Definitely. Because why y'all be trying to impress y'all homeboys? That's crazy. But then you be around your girl, you got on sweatpants. Ooh. <laughs> you gotta stop, man. <laughs> See, stop. <laughs> I didn't mean it like that because I'm like God. You girl. gotta stop, man. I didn't mean it like that. All right, look, moving on, man. Mm-hmm. Forget all that. Moving on. Listen. Let's see what you got. Cook, cook got a question. Man. Yeah, go ahead, Cook. Question. Hey, how y'all doing? Good. Good, good. Appreciate uh, you, Cook. My name is uh, Cook. I'm from Trinity. Ooh. And uh, what I wanted to ask is when it comes to awareness and confidence, uh, which one is more important to you and why? From a man, right? Just from a word, just a universal standpoint. Oh, okay. Life okay. standpoint, awareness or confidence? Which one is Definitely more Definitely confidence. To you and why? Definitely confidence because I'm not going to dim my light for nobody. Nobody. For nobody to be around me you have to have a high confidence level because i'm going to get the attention if i got on makeup or not like it don't i don't know how to do too much i'm tell, i'm just saying i'm going to i'm a, I, my attitude my vibe i draw like i draw vibe, i draw people when mm-hmm. your birthday july cancer cancer big cancer okay, okay, okay so like you have to be confident with me like you have to be confident around me so when a man do it it's a turn off well, be confident? Yeah. No. Like, I know without a haircut, I'm going, I can get your, your homegirl if I want to. Ooh, you got to keep a haircut with me, though. Got to keep a haircut. See, it's picking choosing. What if your hair ain't did? My hair going to stay done, though. Big me. I'm for real. My, my hair going to stay me. done. Big me. My bad. And Big if you me. see my hair, that's because I'm headed to an appointment or I got an appointment in a few days. And in two days, I let my hair breathe. You said once a week, right? At least once, twice a week. Every two weeks. Not twice a week. But I, I'm going to, my hair is staying done. Big me. I got you. My hair is staying done. I used to think that was now fake my, too, by the way. No, my nails. I just took them off because I'm going to get some off. No, I used to thought the hand towel was fake. But, okay, so the next one. Higher or lower? You listening? Do you get more or less 10 DMs from men per day on all platforms? Not all platforms, so less. You get less than 10 a day. My from me. High, my highest platform is probably Snap. Now, I get that. I get that, but like. 10 a day. No, I'm saying from any platform. Oh, so yeah. let's just take snap yeah. by itself. You yeah. get ten a day. You yeah. get higher or lower? Way higher. Dang. Okay, I was just asking. You wanna see? Nah, I'm sure. Okay, that's all. That's yeah, I'm sure. You gotta stop stunning on me too. You know. I just asked that you wanna see. No, I don't wanna see that. Oh my bad. Anyway. It's okay, friend. Yeah. Anyway, you just answer the next question. Snapchat or Instagram? Snap. That was easy, right? Got you. All right, which era would you prefer? 2005 through 2015 or 2016 till now? Mentally, now. But like fun, 2005. That's tough, right? 2005. 2005. That's tough. For you, what would you say? Man, them was the days. That's what I'm saying. Like we lived with no care. There was no real words in the world. We lived, no, I remember working at first GE. That first that's what I'm saying. That first half. That's, that's what I'm telling you. Yeah. We really lived with no care yeah. back then. Yeah. First half. I was working at GE making probably like $12 and stayed somewhere. I'm trying to like. Stay how, somewhere. Stayed out of town. I'm like, how was I going out of town? Because life was simpler. That's what I'm saying. Life was so easy back then. It was so fun. It, it, it was. We had, yes. Where was cheaper. Yes. yes. Who was cheaper. Yes. yes. We had the skating rink. We had soap. The boys like we had so yeah, much stuff fine. back then. That's a fact. We <laughs> them did. old clubs that we can't even bring back. Like we H2O. had, we had fun back yeah, then. Shout out to H two O, and they can't keep nothing up. It's the Mexican club now. No disrespect. What's the name of it? Right there by the bowling alley. How many things has been since then? That's, That's why I said it came nuches. in and stayed open right yeah. there. Is you talking about no chase? No chase, yeah. right? With the five so tacos, can't nothing stay open. <laughs> 
We had H2O and we had uh, the, blue, the Blue Blue Fox. The blue Fox. <laughs> Shout out to the o- Blue we Fox. We had Ultra. We had Ultra. I was about a girl. You was about a girl. <laughs> we had, uh, what's the chart them? Uh, y'all, shout out to Levels. Cause levels. Uh, y'all, Levels was, we was lit in Levels. Was lit. Man. Got you. Every we time it was open. Trying to make you reminisce and use. We ain't doing all of this. <laughs> so, our next, Drake and Future. Future. Why? I just feel like he gets so nonchalant about shit. Toxicity? Yes. I you like shouldn't that. like that. I like that. Drake, like Drake that. just, mm, Drake is just Drake. Yeah, 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 yeah. He, he just, he, yeah, Drake, now nah, that's who do too much. What you mean? Drake do too much. Light skin. Like, yeah, definitely giving light skin. He def, that's how he acts. Like a bad Can't bitch. be too bad. He act like a bad bitch. Can't be too bad. He's around each other, right? Nope. It's not going to work. Mm-hmm. It's just one of us. But Future, I love Future. I love how, how they be dogging him. He, he don't never address shit. And ain't nothing to address. <laughs> he never. His Speaking. parenting, when they be talking about him, his pa- he, he he ain't never address nothing. He and ain't. I don't blame him. And he's shitting. And what I want to I want to take this time out. I'm glad you said it to shout out Sierra. Thank you. <laughs> we appreciate you from the bottom of our hearts. Like, you know if that. you wouldn't have hurt him. <laughs> no, I know. But if you wouldn't have hurt my man the way you hurt him, we wouldn't have got the music we got. Thank you, cause he still wants you and he still hurt. No more you think he won't hurt? Yes. Well, I take that back, cause a man he gon' always reminisce on what he let go, what he what he should have kept. What about her? What about what she messed up and what she should have kept? Compared to Russell? Why? Cause he got bread. He's a cornball. No, once again, like he takes care of her mental. Like that motherfucker. Her favorite place was what Waffle House. <laughs> Ran it off the day home. Here we go. <laughs> All right, so my last and final question before, because I want you to address the the young women out there, the females in general out there. But before we do that, tell me something that just tell me one thing that nobody would know or guess about Megan. Yeah, tell us. You already been vulnerable. You already been. You have been, oh, and we I'm appreciate you everything. for that. Um, you ain't supposed to. Just tell us something like a little fun fact or something like a little weird fact. Dude. But I said I'm like a computer geek. That ain't. That ain't I don't know. Huh? How many bits are in the bike? How many what? No. How many bits I'm are in the bike? I'm learning that now. That's it. I'm doing that now. See, that's a real. <laughs> that's a real. Every time to the pink do rag. Real I'm men wear pink. Part now, but yeah, I don't know. Good answer. Good answer. Good answer. Good answer. <laughs> you don't know. We'll take that. We'll, right we'll take that. We'll take that. We'll take that, man. Hey. I do appreciate you. I thank you. I just want to shake your hand. I appreciate you so much for coming through because I didn't think you was going to do it. I didn't think you was going to do it. You did? You were supposed to do it a month ago. That's okay. That's okay. Better late than never, right? Yep. Appreciate you, man. Why do you keep looking like Because I just stop doing it. We in Carol. Stop doing it. Stop doing it. Listen, that's going to conclude the first episode of Wildlife Podcast. I'm here with Big Meg. I don't know what the fuck going on. Not just Big Meg, <laughs> the beautiful, the gracious Meg. I thank her so much. The whole right, the whole solid foundation group. Everybody, bro. Shout out to the gang. Thank you, bro. This is first of many to come, and I appreciate y'all. All right, remember, Kings, know your worth. Don't let them have you thinking that just because you don't sponsor her, not saying you that you ain't the man you supposed to be. Don't think that, especially if you ain't got no. Never mind, we don't get into that. Right. Yo, it's been real. Holla. All right, here we go. So, my bad. There's one thing that I um, I know that you wanted to, you know, express to these young ladies out here and these women out here that's trying to move forward in a positive light. So, the floor is yours. Let us know what you. Okay, so I yeah. get so many um, emails. I say emails, like DMs mm-hmm. and messages about from like single parents, single um, women, single mothers, ki- women in general, trying to figure out how I do it. Y'all, it's God. Definitely God. I don't even know how I would make it with anything. But I feel like y'all, whatever y'all feel like y'all are going through, y'all can get through it. I literally lost everything and had to build up from dirt i lost everything my car house evicted everything no job y'all can do it y'all really can do it um support system it's resources out there that y'all can get 
my parents is really good at helping people. But y'all can y'all can do it. Don't do not give up on y'all stuff and keep those babies. Them babies think y'all superheroes for real. They really do. That's the fact. Thank you, man. Appreciate you. Thank you. Yeah, I'm clapping for real. This is a real clap. This is a real clap. That's the Wildlife Podcast. Yes. Yeah, and I want to shout. Thank you for having me. I have yeah, fun, no y'all. problem. No problem. But, you can come back anytime, you man. I definitely want. I want you. You know what I'm saying. Your ex to get mad. Anyway, hey, I do want to say this. Shout out to the Death Major Podcast too, man. Shout out to Major Strong for giving me my start. I appreciate you, brother. It's all love and blessings. Thank y'all, man.